Hey all, Board Game Rants here. We'll find everything solo, tabletop, gaming, and more. Snowdonia lies before you. The Deluxe Master Set. Had my eye on this for a number of years, but now with this Master Set, I feel like it might have enough to it that keeps this guy interested. Let's have a look inside. All right, let's give this a little heave-ho and have a look at the back side of it here. Oh my gosh. And... <laughs> Don't mind me in my Grinch costume. Snowdonia, the master set, is um, what I've been kind of waiting for. I've seen so many games, you know, variations of this come out. And then once I realized or heard that David Turchi was going to be doing a solo variant, I knew it was going to be a must-have for me when I when I got a chance to lay my pity paws on it. However, a little buyer beware here. This comes, I guess, with uh, uh, like 30 cards with errata on them, like... And I ordered that for free. They, they'll give you a fix um, deck of cards to, to fix all that. But really? A master set that, you know, the original game came out six, seven years ago. And now this master set has that many errors in it. Bit of a bummer. Whatever. I've heard that it's still terrifically functional, even though those cards have a rata on them. So I'm going to give it a shot. Let me get this plastic off here real quick. Aha! So that explains some things. It has this little gizmo that you have to kind of unsheath. The board game, because on BGG it has the picture of this as the main picture, and I was always kind of curious about that. All right, let's see, what can we, how am I going to get into this thing? Why, by using two hands, of course. So here we go. I'm going to snuggle on in here and take a seat. Oh, yes. Well, it's pretty darn black around the edges here. And it's canned games. Whenever I see that, I just think uh, Teodi Wakan. And I'm allowed to think that too, especially since David Turchi, who did solo version for Teodio Wakan, did this one. So, and that was the biggest draw. Again, you know, that's, that's what sold it for me. That's what made it uh, a must have. And uh, since then, I think on Board Game Geek, I've learned that here in 2019, this has made the, or maybe it had made it in past years too, the basic game. Um, the original Snowdonia didn't have like all the stuff that this thing's going to have in it, all the different little add-on packs and variations and stuff and it seemed a little i don't know i've always i always passed it up it just seemed just like not enough you know it seemed a little basic uh but I, i've always heard great things about it i just never it was never enough there for me to want to pull that trigger and pick it up but now there is and so we've got ourselves a manual here which appears pretty pretty manualish like and a little bit about the game. I think this is what I was able to find online. So I've gone through all of this. I know, for instance, like this board, there's a, a, a new version of the board. We can flip it over, and it's the old version of the board. This is, I think, the new one, which comes with the track around the perimeter. It looks like pre-printed, printed, which I don't think was uh, there for the original. Probably the original board was a lot smaller or something. I, I, I really don't know. But I do know that um, we're trying to start here and build our way up the mountain doo -doo 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 up to here. And in that way, we got to remove rubble and build stations. And it's a worker placement game. Here's a little section where you'll be playing, placing your workers. And, uh, and in the um, deluxe version here, I know that there's there's a pub. I think there was a pub in the original one too. But, but there's, there's like beer drinking, which... <laughs> Actually, no, I don't know why I find that appealing. It's just just a cool thing, I guess. And it helps you to drink beer, but you can't drink beer on Sunday or rainy days. That's odd, I will say. That's when I enjoy drinking beer the most. Anyway, so, um, but you shouldn't be drinking beer if you're working on a railroad, right? No drinking and working. I'll continue on here, though. I think this just goes over the basic rules and maybe some of the few changes like a thinner fog variant there um and how many bits and pieces of the different types of resources to supply yourself with based on how many players you're playing with here's uh, all the different worker placement things and what they do and do, 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 do. here is where i think solo training mode so i think this is what came with the original like how to play solo for the base game. And it was just, you know, just sort of a beat your own high score. It was nothing terrifically remarkable about it. And um, so I never got it. But now there is a bot, I think it's called Delbot, that you play against 
which uh, isn't represented in this manual. I guess we're going to continue on here and see what else we got. Train master list. Wow, this is this is thick. That twelve pages there. Train master. This is uh, the train master appendix. Is we're up in the nineteen. Snowden Mountain Railway. Looks like we got some cool history stuff there. Mm, and all the trains and uh yep, yep, yep. Appendix for all the wow, there's a lot of flipping trains. There's just uh, there's just so much material that's been added over the years to this game, and it should all be here. Quite exciting. Yeah, that's a that's a lot of trains there. And okay, let's continue on. Oh wow, look at this thing. Ooh, this is oh, 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 this is thick scenario book. This I never I never looked at. And different scenarios uh, comes with eighteen diff eighteen different scenarios. Too many expansions. Several promo expansions. Fully developed rules for solo play. That's Bot Dell. Did I say Dell Bot before? Whatever. The base game rules are written for the default Mountain Snowden scenario. Each other scenario and mini expansion will specifically point out any changes in setup or gameplay where they differ from Mount Snowden. If you're new to Snowdonia, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, holy moly. Look at all these. I don't know if these are all variations or whatever, but they all got page numbers associated with them to explain stuff. Solitaire mode. Ooh, uh, let's go have a look. Compete against ferocious and highly skilled Batella Automo opponent. Designed by David Turchi. And additional by Nick Shaw. Nick Shaw of um, the Automo Factor, I believe. Um, okay. And I've seen them pair up before. 69. So, I mean, how bad can it be? And it's on page 69. How good is this already lining up to be? Ooh, well, almost lost you. There it is, Botdell, Solo Rules. Very cool, very cool. Scenario specific opponents. Okay. Yep, you know, I expect it to have a little detail to it. David Turchie's solo variants do tend to be involved, and they need to be, in order to do all the fantastic things that they end up doing. And I am all about it. Botdell, Jungfraban. Wow. Here are some, there are some pronunciations to be practiced here. And, actually not too bad, right? Just that one. Okay, there it is. Drinking beer. Badil. <gasps> Badil. Don't touch my beer. Okay. That's, this is, you know, that's thick. That's a 70 plus page scenario book there. Okay, rule summary. Boom. Wow, this is. This is cool stuff. This is there's a lot here. And this is uh let me open this up. This feels like some pretty hefty stuff. And it is some pretty hefty stuff. This is good. This is good paperweight stuff here. Nice and thick. Uh one, two. There's a whole bunch of them though. Player aid, player, player. Okay, so there's five players. And then more player aid. Okay. What's this? This looks like it's just the actions, all the different worker placement actions, and then it goes to another whole sheet double-sided rule summary and player aid so for everybody it's got enough for everybody to have their own stuff there wow that's that's much cool and let's get this off to the side see what else we got here okay game trays yes more and more i'm seeing game trays i saw that uh where did I see them last? It came with a game. It was Euphoria, Ignorance is Bliss. Um, came with all these very cool, very custom, like, designed for the game. Snowdonia. Very awesome. Looking forward to filling these up with all the appropriate goodies. Them's be all the bags we got here, where I think we're going to be putting in the, uh, the cubes there that will be drawn out each round. And here is more game tray stuff. I feel like I'm hearing stuff. Oh, there is stuff in there. Pencil? Pencil? Come here. Oh, man, it's giving me some grief there. <laughs> there, I got it. And it is. It is a pencil. All right. And it goes right there. Okay, let's see here. What else? What else? Um, yep, scoring pad. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Look at all these. Look at these. Wow. A beautiful production. Holy moly. These are all wood. This is gorgeous. 
Mm -mm -mm. Yes. Mm, that's a lot of that's a lot of wooden bits and bits and stuff there. Nice. There's our resources there. Hefty cubes and we got ourselves some cows. Is that a cow? Goats? Goats. Not cows, goats. Cool. All right, now what do we got here? Ooh, more bits um, inside. Oh, these are nice. These are really, this is nice, thick, nice plastic see-through top. Very well done. More, holy moly, there's just a ton more stuff in here. Ooh, nice little custom. Um, this, I imagine a lot of this has to do with the, maybe all the little expansions that come with this thing. Wow, 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 this thing is packed. Packed with stuff. Holy moly. Look at all these bits. Oh, here's the little weather tokens. Very cute. <clears throat> Not an abominable snowman. Train. Yes, yes. That is, man, that was, that was stuffed full. I mean, it's going to take me some time just to be able to try and get that sucker back on there right. What else we got? Okay, the cards. We're going to have to get, yeah, that's, that's got some <gasps> beef to it. Look at all them cards, of which 30 are errata. <laughs> Son of a... Anyway, but that... Wow, look at all those cards. That is, that is, a, that is a bungee bunch of cards. Here's uh, the little weather deck, I think. This is going to give us contracts, etc. And then and then I'm not even going to try and guess what all these... Give so here's some of the worker placement things that you'll be putting out. The actions you can take. Here's some more... Looks like another weather... Something weather... Holy moly, how many cards? There is, there is, this is a lot. This is, this is just a ton of cards. Yep, yep. Ooh, what's that weather symbol there? Looks like I can pick sunny or rainy, or you don't know. Ooh, the weather's, you know, unpredictable. I don't know. It is. Uh, okay, more stuff like that, and more stuff like that, and contracts galore. Woo wee! One to two. I'm assuming that means one to two players. You'd use this card. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Oh, here come the trains. The fog train. Woo woo! Yep. Trains. Trains. We saw that appendix with all them trains. Okay. I don't know. Yep. Yep. Cards and the cards and the key, 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 more trains. Ooh, victory point tracker. Very nice. Okay. Well, you know what? We are not going to try and go through all those. Let's see. I saw the board. I saw the board underneath this. Eh. Oh, good. Oh, okay. Get to you later. I want to check out this board. All right. There it is. Hopefully I've made enough room. I got everything kind of scooched off to the side here. Let's see if I can probably just be easier to do that. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, that is a looks like it's gonna be a big board. Maybe I don't have enough room. Oh, well, maybe if I kind of go this way, huh? All right, yep, that is a big one. That is a big board. Holy, oh, come on, baby. Here we go. Yep, that's big. That is big. That's a big one. See if I can get an angle on that. Jeez Louise. This has got to be, I don't know, two foot by three foot. That's a big board. But this looks like maybe it is, I don't know what variation. Oh, yeah. Okay, here's, here's one variation over here, which I think, I mean, I think they're all functionally kind of the same, but uh, I guess one side just looks different than, than the other side. So there, yeah. This looks a little more blue, and this looks a little more greenish. Whatevs, there's the board. Gonna have to make some uh, extra room on the table for this guy. But I think um, that about does it. Busted through all of what you'd expect to find here in the Deluxe Master Set of Snowdonia. I appreciate you watching. And until next time, I'm Board Gamer, and I'm out.